Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your mid-month check-in for the second half of March. So let's see what is coming in. We are moving into the eclipse portals. We have a beautiful full moon in Libra on the 25th and then yeah we're moving into the eclipses. So what does it all mean? It can mean change, unexpected changes, things coming in, things coming out. Let's see what we have. Ooh. The cicadas are actually being quiet today, but we have the cicada transformation, transition and liberation. This is actually the death card. So it does represent discarding of the old shell and stepping into the new, new life. So there is freedom from releasing and discarding the old. This is part of the transition. But once you've freed yourself from that, there's liberation and transformation. Beautiful. Okay. Wow. Let's see what else is shifting and changing for you, Capricorn. So just very excited to let you know as well that I have some new things coming in, some transformative new things, new offerings on my updated website. So I'd love you to check that out. One of the things is Learn Tarot With Me course, an introduction to tarot. It's live and online. Places are limited. Very excited about teaching this. So please check it out. The link is in the description box below. And yeah, here we have the devil, Capricorn and Saturn and Mars. Okay, this is you guys. You, you quite literally are transforming. And part of these old, the old shell that you're discarding is sort of like the old you that you don't need anymore. It's like, I don't need that. that. No, I'm releasing myself from the shackles. So it's this beautiful liberation and transformation of Capricorn. There could be some new ambitions that come through with that as well. It's like, oh, I've got this new energy and feeling freer. So I, there might be new things that I want to be achieving in my life. So let's see what's coming through. It actually feels quite transform transformative. It's, it's very lovely, actually, this energy. So... Yeah, the other thing is that the devil energy can sometimes be where you felt really blocked or stuck or like you know, bound. So, again, this is where you're transitioning and liberating and you're freeing yourself from that, from those old bonds and bondages and whatever it is that things that have kept you bound or held back or hidden or in fear, in servitude in some way to something that you're not happy with. So it feels like, okay, I'm, I'm breaking free. So yeah, wow, Capricorn. So Capricorn, I just wanted to let you know that this, and you might actually feel a lot more motivated as well, so sort of re-energized. So Capricorn, I just wanted to let you know that this reading is for Capricorn, sun, moon and rising. Always recommend to watch your three of your placements if you know where they are, because it gives you the fuller picture of what's going on for you. And this is a general reading, Capricorn. Just take what feels right and yeah, really trust yourself here. Trust the new skin that's coming in. The Knight of Swords, determination. Okay, crossed by the devil. Okay, so yeah, interesting. Two of Pentacles, something's been a bit unclear and out of balance here and you're coming back to being the King of Earth again. So you're coming back to yourself, coming back to your power, reclaiming yourself. Here's the, here's the eclipse-like energy with the tower. Boom. It's not sure, but there is a change coming in and a new opportunity. Wow. Ooh, okay. And the Four of Cups, little old Four of Cups against all these other big energies. Wow. Okay. Well, there has been something on offer for you emotionally and it's kind of like, mm, do I, have I really been, there's like this restlessness that can come through with this, like feeling a bit bored or restless or just dissatisfied, a bit of questioning, maybe even disillusioned with something, a situation or an energy in your life. And this Knight of Swords is, yeah, perhaps your mind, restless mind, but it can be fast moving energy. It could be a little bit of anxiety or overthinking or just mind racing. That's what I'm kind of getting with this Knight of Swords because it's like this wants to go somewhere. But if it comes up against this kind of fairly stagnant energy of the Four of Cups, you can feel stuck, which is why you're being crossed by the devil. And it may be one of those things that it's even more frustrating with knowing that the thing that is crossing you is a part of you. You're quite literally Capricorn is is 
crossing the situation from moving forward, even though you might be very determined or you might want it to move quickly. Maybe you, it's a lot of timing here because the Knight of Swords wants to move fast. The devil is blocking that, stopping it. The hanged man represents delays and things like stagnating. There's a bit of stagnant energy here, but the mind wants to be active and to be doing something. And it's just like it's blocked by all these other energies around it. So the hanged man is saying, have the patience to gain a new perspective, quite literally. And there's something new that could be dawning here. I always love when the hanged man comes out with the Ace of Pentacles because this always looks like what's happening. You know, you see something from a very different perspective. It in, in, You become enlightened. You become aware of what this is. And it looks like the Ace of Pentacles. So it's like it might feel like there's stagnation or you've been given the gift of time or this kind of restless energy could feel like a bit of a – or frustration – there's a catalyst energy here. There's something there brewing and forming that's um, awakening within. So it just needs a little bit of time. Uh, so no wonder you're feeling a little bit out of balance with all of this. The two of pentacles, the earth is out of balance. Uh, it could have been that you've had a lot on, a lot on your plate. This is a bit of a balancing act with the two of pentacles. How do I fit everything in? How do I bring all this new stuff into my world? It just feels like something just feels a little bit out of balance here. In the recent past, we have the Two of Cups. So it definitely could be around a relationship that we have with the Two of Cups. So this doesn't have to be a love relationship. It can be any kind of relationship. But it does feel like there's something here, a new lease of life for you within the situation with this relationship. Because in the near future, you have this King of Pentacles coming back to yourself, being yourself, being the king of earth and feeling like, okay, I'm transformed. <laughs> I can finally take action. I can finally do something that feels like me. I feel like I'm myself in this situation again. I feel like I can give a lot. I've got a lot more to give, whereas this could be like I'm feeling a bit funky, I'm feeling a bit burnt out or something doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. You know, maybe if you had met somebody and you were looking for it to go somewhere, it kind of just, George, I always think George is a Capricorn, um, my rooster, if you're wondering who I'm talking to. So, yeah, this, because um, he is an earth energy, he spends a lot of time on the earth. So this King of Pentacles is very generous. There's a generosity, you know, I've got a lot to give. But this feels like, you know, there's a blocked, stagnant, funky energy there or something's really been blocked within like a relationship or moving forward in some way. So you're presenting as the Ten of Pentacles and this is attaining some kind of stability amongst this um, instable, unstable energy. Or So it's like you're being quite strong. They're showing me an anchor quite literally like there's these a ship that's been anchored down but there's the rocking of the boat. So it feels like there's been these waves waves of emotions or feelings or waves of things coming in and out and things you know the boat the boat has been rocked in some way but yet you stand hold far steadfast you hold steadfast and you're able to drop anchor in some way and still retain your stability and integrity within uh, possibly a fairly tricky situation you know there's a lot in here in terms of things being kind of yeah quite unstable so your energy surrounding you is this knight of wands this is the wounded warrior it's been lots of challenges and you've potentially risen to the challenge and the nine of wands can speak of the the challenges are behind you the worst is behind you now even though it might not you might still a little be be a little bit on guard with this but it's like and this can be soul weariness as well, like just tired. I'm just tired. And maybe it's like, and it might be that you're seeing that within a relationship, there's something tired within it. And it's like, not this, not the same old thing again. <laughs> so hopes and fears, we have the five of wands and it, it really feels like, okay, I'm ready to challenge myself. Let's test a few things out. Let's try the test our limits or 
let's just yeah get out of this comfort zone and and try a few things it could also this could also be competition like competitive energy so if it's to do with like a sibling or somebody who's just naturally very competitive or a lot of one upmanship around you that could be something that comes in with this card we also have as an outcome though <laughs> we've got boom the tower card the Two of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. My goodness, the revelation hits you. It's like, boom, that lightning bolt comes in and strikes the crown through the crown chakra. It's like, well, suddenly I see it. Suddenly I know it's like a revelation, a release. Something gets released. And then it's like, now that I know, I can't not know, but it creates a lot of uncertainty because now I have to make a choice or a decision here. And there is actually an opportunity to start a new cycle, a tangible new beginning, which represents a change. And it's like this shift of perspective or perception of what's going on, or just this sense of we've outgrown that. Why are we still doing that? Let's move into something new. So this Ace of Pentacles is an unexpected opportunity that you might not see coming but it does require a change and a choice around the change, a choice to change. So, yeah, wow. And so here we have this Four of Cups where it's like whatever's on offer here, this opportunity to change that requires a, lot, a big choice, some kind of a choice or decision that comes in, somebody's not sure about it. They've got their arms crossed going, hmm, I don't know about this. So might have to wait a little bit for the dust to settle with the tower before it starts to ground back down because I feel like you're quite strong and powerful in this situation. It might be the other person that's like not sure, questioning. And it may be you are questioning the relationship. Yeah, I mean, maybe this is not how I want it. I'm not feeling myself or not how I want it to be. So, yeah. But either way, no matter what's happening with this, I feel like there's a new opportunity for a change, a new lease on life, to come back to yourself, to feel empowered, to feel stable and to feel like you can be doing things kind of that are more aligned to or to you or to bring in some energies that feel like it's release of frustration or tension even, but it feels like this is more me. That's, that's what it feels like. So let's pull an affirmation card for you, Capricorn, and see what's coming in. We have, all my relationships are harmonious. Okay. When we create harmony in our minds and hearts, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer always. So it's interesting because it's almost like there's not a lot of harmony here in the relationship, but there's an opportunity to change. Perhaps with the tower card, that can be the walls coming down. Or feeling really constricted. I'm in this really constricted space, confined, and there needs to be more freedom or more authenticity or just a change of some sort. There needs room to grow and to be doing new things and new cycles. So there's this expansion, but it's like it becomes this pressure point that it, it builds up, builds up, builds up, builds up, builds up until something has to change. So let's pull a charm for you and then once then we do have the transition moving in out of an old energy and freedom into new life transformation let's pull a charm for you yes we have the beautiful cat okay so cats are very independent they do things on their own terms they make their own rules and look how happy this cat is it's looking good it's feeling good it's accessorized it's all you know pretty happy with the way things have turned out and it is doing things on your own terms absolutely being able to still stand in your power be independent but to be able to gain some kind of independence or result that feels right for you now for some of you this could be a change to your appearance even it could be okay I'm going out to get to get a new haircut or I'm going to there, there could be some sort of big change to how you're perceived or how you're presenting yourself as well. That's something that comes through with this. But it very much feels like the cat that um, is feeling pretty happy with itself, the cat that got the cream, 
because it did things on its own terms and that's what it feels like there's this pent up of frustration and feelings um, and energy because it's like I haven't been able to kind of move forward where I wanted to or to be able to take action um, with what I think needs to happen and it just hasn't happened and so it's like yeah there's an opportunity for a big change here so that is transformative <laughs> and revelatory so that is your reading Capricorn thank you so much for joining me please check out my Learn Tarot introductory to tarot course live and online and yeah, the link for that is in the description box below. As mentioned, places are limited. And please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your com comments. All of that helps with the growth of the channel and take care.